All right, uh, so unit five um, is all about systems of equations. Um, and so the first learning target is just gonna kind of be talking about like what is a system of equations? Um, what is a solution to a system of equations? Just some kind of really basic stuff. Um, won't be all that difficult uh, as far as like the computation or the actual math kind of stuff. It's, it's sort of one of those learning targets where it's like, um, here we want you to get the concepts or the vocab, um, and then that'll sort of build for the rest of, of the unit. Um, so first of all, a system of linear equations. We already know what linear equations are. We already know what those are. We've seen like millions of those. Um, that's pretty much anything we did in the first unit um, or two. I don't remember. Um, but we've seen tons of linear equations before. Those um, have come in this form, the mx plus b form. Um, maybe it was something like y equals one third x plus four. And we know how to graph it. Um, a system of linear equations is just a set of two or more. Okay, that's kind of the, that's what the system part of it means. A set of two or more of these linear equations that have variables in common. Um, so a, a possible set of linear of system of linear equations uh, could be this is one of the equations and um, y equals 2x plus 1 is the other one. Those together form a system, okay? Because they have two variables in common. They have y and they have x. So a system of equations is a set of two or more equations that have variables in common. Okay, The solution um, to a system of linear equations is um, whatever makes both equations true at the same time. Okay, That's sort of the informal and I'll write that down just if you want to write this one down um, this is sort of like I guess my own words for, uh, for a solution um, but whatever x and y value makes both equations true at the same time. Okay, your more formal definition here is um, when solving a system of equations you look for a solution that makes each equation true. Um, and true, in this case, sort of means equal. Okay, and, and you'll see an example. I think the examples will really help you with that. But for now, just kind of get um, one of those definitions down. Okay, pause if you need to. Otherwise, here are a couple of examples. Um, so we're given a a set of points, we're trying to determine if that set of points is a solution to the system of linear equations. Um, so the solution mm -mm. Um, set of points that we are given is right here. Um, and we are, our goal is to determine if that is a solution to the system or not. Um, and so what we're going to do to find out if that is a system or if that is a solution is figure out if this x comma y makes both of these equations true or equal. Okay, so and all you have to do to do that is plug in a 0.2 for y, plug in a negative 15.6 for x. Okay, and so what that looks like is take this top equation, 0.2 instead of y equals 47 plus 3 times negative 15. 0.6. So I'm going to plug in a negative 15.6 instead of x. Okay, and so 3 times negative 15.6 is negative 46.8. Uh, negative 46.8. Um, 47 plus negative 46.8 is 0 0.2. 0 0.2 equals 
0.2. So that is a solution for this top equation. To be a solution of the system, it has to satisfy both equations. So now we have to check this second one. And so I'm going to take 0.2 equals 8 plus 0.5 times negative 15.6. And I'm going to find 0.5 times negative 15.6. That's 7.8. 0.2 equals 8 plus negative 7.8, and it does. So this solution works for this equation as well. Since it works for both, yes, this is a solution. Okay, And so that's the basic process for any of these um, to figure out if they are a solution or not. Um, and so I'm going to go a little bit quicker through the rest of these. Um, plugging in a negative 4 for x and a 23 for y. And I just put the parentheses there to make it look a little more organized. You don't have to. You can write 2 times negative 4 if you want. I just like to put parentheses because I think it looks nicer. Um, instead of y, 23. Oh, I'll finish the first one. So this is negative 8 plus 23, and that does equal 15. So this one is fine. We'll check the second one. 23 equals 12 plus 4. 12 plus 4 is 16. That is not equal to 23. If they are not equal, that means that negative 4 comma 23 does not make this equation true. If it does not make one of the equations true, this is not a solution. Okay? It has to satisfy both using the same x comma y to be a solution. All right. Um, and the last one here. Four point five plus ten, that's fourteen point five. This is not true for that one. We don't even need to check the next one because we've already we already found that this uh, solution right here does not work for this equation, and therefore it is not a solution, regardless of if it works for this second one. Okay, so that's that's the basic um, idea of this: is we are looking for a x comma y, an x value and a y value. Um, that makes the both of these equations come out equal. All right. Um, so here's your before class. It's just one simple example, just like we did, or just like I did in the last few. Um, you are given this x comma y, and you are to determine if this is a solution um, to this system of equations.